only fans young lady okay so she has uh her story here that she wants to share for you guys good morning everybody okay so really quick i have a couple things to address and i just need you to listen to me so i've had quite a few people reach out to me comment you know just truly curious about what and why i changed so so listen i was a pastor's kid for almost all my life. I grew up in church. I was always in church. You know, I was also homeschooled. So my life truly felt like a cage. And I'm not saying Christianity is a cage. I'm saying religion was the cage. I was a Baptist, you know, I was a Baptist pastor's child for the longest time, right? Me and my family did not have a good relationship and I'm the middle of five children. So I'm talking about my other brothers and sisters and my parents. It just truly felt like such a cage. I was a very rebellious child child, like sneaking out when I was like 16 years old. I was like, I was just going the wrong way. Right. So about four years ago, I started my only fans because I think truly it was out of pure rebellion. And tr- and like, honestly, I'm such a like independent person that I never felt the need for a man to provide for me, like have a man in my life to provide for me. Um, so I started only fans about four years ago and I climbed to top 0.01%. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that the devil can truly give you things in this life. He has a budget though. He can only go so far. So a couple million, okay, great. The devil can do that sometimes, right? But I truly have gifts and talents. I just did not use them in the right way. And I'm reaching out to anyone who's like questioning what they should do in their life. And I turn to corn. That's what we're going to call it, okay? So this is just me sharing my personal, personal experience with you. So I reached out and did corn for four years. Um, and I showed myself all over the internet. I said crazy things on podcasts. If you don't know the, I love cheating podcast. Um, and so I met this person who's now my partner and he truly showed me God's love. He was sending me Bible verses, praying over me, and we were just friends. So like the Holy Spirit was truly working and moving, but I was in such a rebellion against it because I was like, God doesn't love me. I've had to work this hard for this many years because no one cared about me. My family didn't care about me. Christianity is a cage. It's not Christianity. It's religion. Religion is the cage. And unfortunately, I didn't have like good role models growing up. My parents, my siblings, I didn't have good friends. I truly fell into darkness. And I was, like I said, I was top 0.01% creator. Like that is crazy. That is a crazy milestone to reach in that industry. So I made what I made. I did what I did, but I want to share you, share with you guys the truth of it all, because I am now giving it all up for Christ. I am now truly a believer. I would never take it back. God radically saved me from this darkness. And let me tell you again, the devil has a budget, but God does not. God literally made you. He made this world. He made the heavens. Like what makes you think that God can't bless you with anything, but the devil will give you these things that trip you up and money in front of your face and these worldly friends, your family that doesn't, isn't there for you, you know, but don't be discouraged because God has a better plan for your life. And let me tell you, I have felt and started living that plan. And since then, the money, the fame, the Gucci, Louis, whatever bags, the shoes, the clothing, the huge trips that I've taken doesn't matter because at the end of the day, do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hell? And my soul, I'm sorry, but it's not worth going to hell for at all. And God loves you so much that he's willing to give you everlasting life. You need to understand that your life is very temporary here on earth. And we all have a mission. And that's to preach the word of God. Okay? I love you guys. I just wanted to clear that up and share a little bit of my testimony. But there you have it. Please be nice in the comments because just remember, you are not here to judge others. God is here to judge, not you. So please, please be nice, be kind, be loving, bear the fruits of the spirit. I love you guys. I love you so much and God bless.
Okay, so that's a beautiful story, to be honest. I know. Um, I'm trying to. What's her name? Hold on, let me find. Yeah, so. Uh, I know, so I'm reading from an article over here. Say only fans model making what three hundred and thirty thousand dollars a month tends to Christ, deletes account, throws out all her immodest clothes. So uh, that that's a, you know that's what she she ended up doing, and uh, her name is Fitness Nala. That that's the name on her Instagram. Fitness, fitness Nala, we all have a choice. I choose God. Hashtag baptized. So top only fans creator Nala Ray has converted to Christianity and is beginning to show fruits in keeping with the repentance according to recent videos posted on her Instagram. So this is an article put out by Protestia. Ray grew up as a pastor's daughter in Illinois as she had shared. So that's amazing that's amazing uh that's amazing that's a beautiful good story anytime somebody comes to christ we what we celebrate so pray for her that she will continue in her journey she'll continue to be discipled okay that way it, it will stay because the enemy is not happy when somebody comes to christ but given the situation that we know with the kanye West situation eh, we just don't you know let her grow come to understanding with the scriptures because the next minute we don't want you know now women are, give, are giving her speaking engagements now she's a speaker here speaker speaker there like no she needs to grow to understand uh learn the scriptures so i know this is a very good testimony i mean she's you're making three you know like three hundred and thirty thousand dollars a month you you're just gonna let that go man that's a lot of money that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I mean, that's six figures a month, you know. But if she's, you know, she's letting all that go, she got baptized, she put out a video for her getting baptized, that's good news. We celebrate that. So keep her in prayers because the enemy is not happy when people do some, some of these things. So we just pray that she walks, uh, uh, you know, in keeping with her testimony, in keeping with her testimony, giving all these celebrities why what happens right because you know yes she's making more money but we know kanye even makes more money like this but he's he's not willing to part ways with his money right now he's become a god of himself so yeah who knows what challenges along the way but anybody who names the name of christ welcome to the kingdom may god bless uh her walk all right guys that is all that i had for you guys today i hope you find this to be informative to you be sure to subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.